previously on Sanctuary. Who the hell are you? The adjuster. You're about to be adjusted. What in the hell? No, no! How does he manage to fly like that without wings? I've never seen an abnormal with that ability before. That is Walter's suit. Walter's suit is made of bugs? Walter isn't an abnormal. He's wearing one. I must have slipped down into a sinkhole or something because the next thing I knew, I woke up in a cave covered in slime. The suit's living off you in exchange for giving you these powers. You don't understand. I can't take it off. It's stuck. Whoa. Ah, uh, it's leaving. For the first time since I got it, I truly wanted it off. I miss you, little buddy. True or false? Normandy, 1944, Allied invasion. You were on French soil when it happened. Do you have that inventory I asked for? Aha. Sorry, Hank. You mean, aha, that wasn't a denial. She didn't say false, she asked you for your homework. The weapons inventory you promised me a week ago, do you have it? Yeah, I'm on it. Yes, I know I asked for the job, and I will get it to you. Henry can do it if you're too busy. I will get it done. All right, pay up. I want the bet. A Hitler youth knife and a vintage Luger are not evidence that she was in France in 1944. Yeah, they are if they both belong to a ranking Gestapo agent who was stationed in that area of Europe at that time. Uh, we've been rummaging through the catacombs. Those are my personal mementos, not toys to be wagered with. Totally understand. So is it true? Were you part of the invasion in 1944? To be honest... Oh, crap. Environmental breach has on level four. Start an evacuation. Has not protocols for everyone. <laughs> Section three is secure. Where's Will? He's evacuating the north way. Sorry. Just had a little trouble with the telekinetic shrimp. Will's a little bugger. Wow, claustrophobic much? Is that everybody? Provided the environmental threat doesn't spread to the other levels, yes. Any idea what caused it? It's hard to say. The sensors are keyed to respond to even the slightest change in the atmosphere. Okay, I'm running a system scan now. I should have something within the hour. Um, you know, this is why we do monthly drills, huh? Easy there. You're gonna give yourself a hernia. There's no way all of these are gonna fit. They'll fit. 157, pick it up. Oh, you're great. This thing is like 500 pounds. Uh, you need to work out more. <laughs> this is the last of them. Is this all gonna fit? <sighs> So where are we taking them to, anyway? Off-site storage facility. Will knows where it is. We'll contact you as soon as we figured out what happened. Copy that. Let's hit the road, William. Has this ever happened before? The environmental alarm? Yeah. A couple times, but never in a whole section. Wonder what could have caused it. I don't know, maybe one of the abnormals released a toxin or something? Yeah, I guess, but nothing that actually has a history of... Oh! Huh. Hands! Out. Slowly. Just take it easy. Take it easy. you guys are looking for? Will! You're gonna keep your mouth shut, got it? Got it. Walk. <laughs> Put it in the truck. Purple goo? That's what you're after? I told you to shut up. You think I don't know what that is?
truck. She's coming with us. Ow. Stay still. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. There's no sign of Kate. Whoever did this must have taken her as well. Any idea who they were? No, their uniforms were clean, no markings. Professionals, they must have been after something specific. Henry, anything missing? Yeah, one container, item 204. Vladimir Bia Volubilis. What is that? Walter's suit. Bag just come in. Go ahead. No luck with the traffic cameras. Damn. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, why would they take Kate? I mean, they obviously got what they came for. They left everything else. The only reason Walter's suit was on the track this morning was because the environmental alarms went off. Which I still have no explanation for, by the way. The attackers knew it was on this transport, which means... Yeah, they planned the whole thing. Oh, whoa, Doc. An op like that, that's extensive planning. That's... Not to mention flawless execution. Clearly, we're dealing with a highly sophisticated group. Henry. Figure out who did it and how on it. This still doesn't explain how they knew about the suit. It's not like we took an ad out in Craigslist saying that we had it. Well, someone must have leaked the information. It wasn't any of us. Who could it have been? And who else knew about it except for... <clears throat> oh, no. Come on. Move it. That's far enough, citizen. Who the hell are you? The adjuster! And it's time to turn down the volume. Are you, for real, dudes? <laughs> Whose phone is that? Oh, uh, oh, that's me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's my agent. Somebody find me a PA to fire. Hey, Terry, what's up? The remake of Six Sense. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm totally into it. It's just, uh, doesn't everybody already know? Okay, set it up. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing here? Walter, we need to talk. My trailer? Uh, sorry about the mess. It's all from the studio. I got tons of this stuff. Hey, you guys want some suspenders? Get it? The adjuster? <laughs> Why don't you sit down, Walter? What's going on? We need to know who you've told about the sanctuary. What are you talking about? Well, somebody found out about the suit, and it was stolen this morning. Oh, man. That's not good. Is there any chance you may have mentioned it to anybody, even by accident? No, no way. I would never do that to you guys. I know how important it is to keep a seat. Oh, crap. Walter? <laughs> I had no idea actuarial science could be so fascinating. I know, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So, where did you get the idea for all of this? Can you keep a secret? Uh, yeah. I s swear... I thought she was from the studio. What happened to her? I never saw her again. I really screwed up, didn't I? <laughs> Don't bother. It's a reinforced titanium alloy, completely suit-proof. Where the hell am I? Just relax, you're in no danger. What is that? Dopamine inhibitor. It'll help with the extraction process. Don't get that thing away from me. You son of a bitch! Do you know who I work for? Hold still. Now, you're gonna feel a slight pinch between the eyes. soon.
nothing? Name's fake. She's not in any police database. So where does that leave us? At a dead end, I'm afraid. Not necessarily. I think I solved the problem of the environmental alarm. Henry's diagnostics found a built-in protocol in the primary and backup systems. It was remotely activated at the precise moment our alarm went off. Someone triggered it? Yeah. Well, who would have that kind of control? Well, somebody else did a little digging in the FBI database. Turns out the vendor we use for both systems, wait for it, is owned by the same parent company. Inverset Incorporated. Deep pockets, global reach. Just the kind of people who could pull this off. Makes sense. Inverset. Yeah. Do you know them? I knew the founder, Kenneth St. Pierre. Well, can you call him? I'd like nothing more, but he died 12 years ago. I don't know anyone there anymore. Do you have any proof linking Inverset to these attacks? Uh, no, not directly. All right, see if you can find me something solid, and I'll see about pulling some strings. All right. Mr. St. Pierre, you wanted to see me? Ten minutes ago. What's the status? Uh, things are progressing nicely. No, they're not. We should have been long gone by now. Suit's natural resistance. I know about the suit's natural resistance, right? You said the machine could overcome it. Well, there have been power fluctuations. The machine isn't operating at peak capacity. But what, are you kidding me right now, Ray? What is this, joke time? We're not in some cushy lab somewhere. That's why you can't get this done? No, I, I didn't mean... I don't care what you meant. The board of directors has been hounding my ass about the suit. If I don't recover it in time for their meeting tomorrow night, they're going to use both of us as bait for their Marlin fishing excursion. Understand? Good. I want us out of here in one hour. But Mr. St. Pierre... Do whatever you have to do. Just get it done. Sorry. Hey, Walter, I didn't know you were here. Yeah, Magnus and Will brought me back, so what's up? Well, I was just trying to find Kate. Uh, hey, you know, I haven't heard from you in a while. You kind of stopped returning my emails and my texts and my Facebook messages. Yeah. Sorry, I was really busy. I mean, you know how it is. Right, yeah. So, uh... Did you hear about the movie? I did, man. That is great for you. You know what? I should get you a copy of the script. I already read it. Internet. Just got to know where to look. Cool. Yeah. What'd you think? You know, I'm just, I'm a little busy right now. Right, 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 right. Right. Maybe you could just give me the broad strokes. Oh, boy. Uh, you know what, Walter? I... Okay. It just didn't ring true, man. What do you mean? Okay, well, for example, why would you make Stanley rich and successful? The, st the studio was going for a Batman vibe. I get that. It just, it just it makes it kind of phony, though. <laughs> and, and your female lead, a 22-year-old PhD named Sunset Golden? Come on, Walter. The adjuster never date a girl like that. H how do you know? That's my character. But what's with this catchphrase? It's time to turn down the volume. What does that even mean? Look, a lot of people like the script, okay? Okay. My, my agent, specifically, uh, the, the director, the studio... Yeah. I'm sorry that I can't please every diehard fan in their mom's basement who whines because the comic book is so much better. <laughs> uh I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't mean It's fine, Walter. You know, whatever you're doing is working for you, so I just I should get back to finding Kate. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Dude, look at this. 
Virgil St. Pierre. Kenneth's grandson. I haven't seen him since he was a teenager. Well, Virgil's been up to quite a lot since then. How is he mixed up in all of this? Okay, I couldn't find anything linking Inverset to the attacks, but I did find a series of payments they made to an outside research company called Vorotech. I know. Now, Vorotech is completely private, way off book, and involved in some seriously experimental things. A skunk works operation. First prize, if you can guess who their CEO is. So he used his connection at Inverset to set off our environmental alarms. Yep. Yeah. We got something. I took another look at where that van was headed when we lost it. So, the airport here, port here, train, bus station, etc., all over here. Hurry up, tell them. Yeah, I'm getting there. They're regrouping somewhere local before heading back to the main office. Right, exactly. So I looked at recently rented industrial spaces in the area. I helped. Um, sure. And then I cross-referenced with power usage. Wouldn't you know it, one of them had a 400% increase in this past week. No explanation. Good work, Henry. Get the van ready. This is so exciting. We actually get to do a case together. We don't. You're staying here. You can assist us when we get back. We'll tell you all about it. Hey, maybe you can write another comic book. I need that soup, Ray. Oh, this is just painful. Can't you speed it up? We're already operating at peak levels. Well, give us something to calm her down. This is starting to freak me out. I can't. It would interfere with the dopamine drugs. I could dial the machine back. No, don't dial the machine back. Just get it over with. It's almost done, right? Need a Tylenol here. What just happened? It's a power surge. This isn't the best part of town. I told you that when we got here. Is she dead? Right? Is she dead? She's alive. Good. What about the suit? Why is the suit still on her? I don't know. We've never interrupted the process before. Well, figure it out, Ray. What am I paying you for, huh? Look at this now. Just my luck. This is just... I hate that guy. Come on. Hi, handsome. Why is she wearing the suit? It must have slipped onto her at some point. Probably looking for safe harbor, went for somebody it already knew. We have to get after her. Damn it! Come on! Hey, Magnus. First, we need to see what we're getting into. I'll call in our available operatives to start the search. Well, well. Virgil St. Pierre, I presume. No offense, but I was really hoping we wouldn't run into each other. It's kind of awkward. You attacked my people this morning. Explain to me why I shouldn't just hand you over to the police. Proof? Or shoot you. I was just trying to get my suit back. Oh, your suit? Yeah, my suit. I built it. With my scientists in my lab, using my money, so it's... 
Well, technically not my money, which is why I have to get it back. What are you talking about, dude? Our friend found that suit. In the hole in the woods? Yeah, I read that script. That might be where he found it, but it wasn't where it was made. I was working on a ballistics protection suit using a species of telepathic bacteria, and we had a little incident at our lab. The suit got away. Yes, the suit got away. I'm trying to get it back ever since, and I ran out of leads until your friend showed up with the movie script. And you sent that girl along. Well, the easiest way to get information is to send a hot girl ask for it, right, Magnus? Not exactly a CIA spook, your guy. Still haven't explained how it ended up on Kate. That's a long story. Make it a short one. Okay. All right, will do. Who was that? Magnus. She wants me to dispatch a search team to find Kate. Well, what are they doing? Investigating Virgil St. Pierre's lab. Well, they mean people in the street. Maybe you and I could. No. Well, I could at least... No. You've done enough. Look. I know you're still pissed off at me for what happened. And? And I can help, okay? I know that suit. I have mad skills. What kind of mad skills? I have an above-average IQ and tremendous powers of persuasion. Right. I'm a storyteller. <sighs> All right, fine. Okay? But I'm a fast learner, and, and you can train me. I'll be Cyclops to your Professor X. Uh, but please, just tell me what I have to do to become one of you guys. What's the application process? Interviews? I rock the interview. Job fairs? You really want to help? Yes, of course. Stay out of our way. No. I... That's cool. That's cool. It's designed to separate the suit from the host by suppressing the prefrontal cortex. The area of the brain that controls decision making and social behavior. Now, when these cognitive functions are interfered with, the suit can't communicate with the host and slides off. Unfortunately, we experienced a power surge when the machine was in the middle of its cycle. What effect would that have? To be honest, I don't know. We never accounted for this possibility in the tests. Oh, good. Nice job. Great. If her executive function has been compromised, she has no inhibitors. Her primary emotions will rule her every move. Well, that could get weird. Yeah. Well, that's not my first concern. How long do these effects last? The machine remaps the subject's neural pathways. Unless the damage is undone, the brain will continue to remap itself, potentially leading to an aneurysm. We have to get the suit off before it kills her. What do we do? I have an idea. So this guy tells me he can't finish this thing until Tuesday. And then, who the hell? Kate Freelander. Hello, Brad. <laughs> Long time no see. Nice outfit. Surprised to see you after what went down the last time. You stole my money and hung me out to dry. Still holding a grudge. Me? No, I'm over it. I just came for an apology. <laughs> oh. I don't know what you're on, but you made a big mistake coming here. I warned you I'd kill you if I ever saw you again. Boys?
My apology. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Like you mean it. I'm really, truly sorry. <laughs> Good boy. That wasn't so hard, was it? If I ever see you again, I'll kill you. You understand? You found it. Affirmative. What is it? Terahertz radiation generator. Cool. It's a specific range of the EM spectrum between infrared and microwaves. During the past year of studying this creature, it's the only stimulus it ever responded to. If we can get within a range of about three blocks, I think we can use this to lure the creature towards us. Literally summon it, like uh, targeting a beacon. Okay, so we get close to her and we stun her. Actually, no. The sonic impulse could further damage her neurological systems. We need a more subtle solution. Such as? We transfer the suit to Walter. Right. Wait, what? Clearly it won't latch on to just anyone. You're the obvious choice. Well, hold on a second. Is that going to work? I mean, doesn't Kate have to wish it off? I don't think she has sufficient control of her emotions at the moment to make that kind of decision. I'm hoping the suit will take the initiative on its own. Hey, heads up, everyone. A report just came through about a fight in the warehouse district. Witnesses report a woman in a leather suit leaving the scene. Oh. All right, we should be safe in here. Between me and you, this feels like, what's the word, a long shot? I can't say I disagree with you, but we've no choice. All right, stand back. sudden moves. Go ahead, Walter. Hey, Kate. It, it's me, don't you remember? Oh, the superhero. You want to play with me? Come on. That's it, little buddy. Time to take out the trash. Where did you get the idea? It's my agent. Can you keep a secret? You guys want some suspenders? The remake of Sixth Sense. Get it? The adjuster. <laughs> Look, a lot of people like the script. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm totally interested. Every but... diehard fan in their mom's basement. No, don't go. I thought we were working together. Please, you're a child with money. Oh, that's mature. It's my suit, man. And that's a member of my team. Once she's out of danger, we will discuss the return of your suit. But until then, stay the hell out of my way. Fine. Hey, he okay? Why did it slip away? Maybe it was scared. But I'm, I'm its friend. We were partners. I think it didn't like me anymore. We have to move. Thank you for everything. Please, just give me one more chance. I think I can convince it. It's too dangerous. We need to proceed to plan B. No, but... Uh... Honestly, thank you. But we've got it from here. 
Okay, we've got a sighting. Gridley Street at Burke. microdermabrasion appointment tomorrow? Walter, Franz, we just got the new fall wardrobe in. Walter, it's Sandra from the studio. We changed the name of the movie to The Volumizer. Just a heads up. Right. We need to take matters into our own hands. Even if Magnus brings her down, there's no way that she's turning that suit over us. And you're just showing me this now? What I need to know. An extreme UV energy weapon. We developed it in case things got out of hand. Instantly kills the micro-abnormals that make up the suit. Kill it? What about your big board meeting? There's no board meeting, Trace. I sold the suit to the Russian mob. The only thing worse than not giving them what they paid for is to letting it fall into the hands of somebody else. So, you get a clear shot at that suit, you take it, you understand? Consider it done. Good. Sure about this? At this point, we've no choice. Right, everybody, fan out. She can't have gotten far. It's Henry. Why don't you come on out? I promise I won't comment about how hot you look. <gasps> oh, wow. Hey, Hank. Hey. I got a visual. Alley behind Morgan Avenue. Listen, kid, I don't want to shoot you. But I will if I have to. Really? to let me give you some lessons. What the? <laughs> hey, Hank. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> Personal big guy. Copy that. I'm trying to head her off. Hi, 
Daddy William. Grave danger. Your mind has been damaged. You need to get the suit off of you. The suit is the best thing that has ever happened to me. And you are not taking it away. Kate, please, you're not thinking clearly. You need to listen to me. I think we're done talking. And you know I'm telling you the truth. That was incredibly brave. I just wanted... Walter! He's going to die. Kate, he needs the suit. I bank on people underestimating me, Magnus. Did you really think I was gonna let you take control of that suit? Come on. Walter, do me a favor. You come quietly, and I promise I'm not gonna hurt these people, okay? Do you trust me? Implicitly. I don't think so. <laughs> ah, here we go. You know, Walter, I read your little movie script. And as the guy who actually designed that suit, I say you took some real liberties. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. You're not a hero, Walter. You never were. You're a spineless insurance adjuster. Phrase. Yeah, it's better without it. May I? Be my guest. You're a disgrace to your grandfather's memory. I'll buy it off you. How much you want for it? I've been reviewing your recent activities. Turns out we have a mutual acquaintance. Vladik, head of the Kuznetsov gang. You didn't. As a favor to me, he's allowing me to keep the suit, provided you pay him back in full. And stay the hell out of his way. Same goes for me. Thanks, Magnus. 
Come on, let's go. We need to get Kate back to the lab as soon as possible. Let me take her. It'll be faster. Thank you, Walter. No problem. <laughs> Glad to see you're feeling better. Yeah, I guess so. Is, uh, everyone still mad at me? Don't get over it. Hurt pride more than anything else. <laughs> so what are you doing up here? Thinking of places the suit could take you? No. I'm just happy to be home. Hey, man, this new stuff you wrote is awesome. You didn't have to sneak me a copy. Oh, it's the least I could do after what I put you guys through. So what's next? Well, I still got to do the movie, even though it's a piece of crap. You know, you should fight. Tell them you want to do it your way. They own the rights, man. They can do whatever they want. Come on, dude. What would the adjuster do? time without the catchphrase. Really? Yeah. I think it sounds better like that. Okay, set it up. Yeah. 